Hello there guys and welcome to your fifth uh, Java GUI programming tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll actually go ahead and create our first frame and make it visible to the user. Alright, so to go ahead and get started please open our previous project we had created. If you, if you don't have it, once again pause the video and go ahead and create one. A uh, new project and add a class file and everything that we did in our previous tutorial. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need this. Or the import statement. What we want to import this time, we're gonna import Java X dot swing and then we're gonna import the J frame. Alright. Let's go inside our main and we're gonna go ahead and create a new frame to do that we're gonna type j frame and I'm gonna call the frame equals new j frame and we're gonna leave it blank in there alright so now that we created our new j frame what we want to do inside of here is we want to basically we have to type frame dot set default close operation and we're gonna type jframe inside of it dot exit on close what this does guys is basically once the frame is created if we do not actually type this line of code when the user hits the X button the frame will not quit and will not basically get terminated it will just stay there forever and you won't be able to do anything to way to close it unless you restart your computer or something or you kill it in the in the task manager or something. All right. So now that we've that set, so when the user can hit X, it will actually quit. All we want to do is type frame dot set visible, and then we're going to type true. What this does is fairly easy. It will it will make the frame visible because as default it will not be visible it will actually you won't be able so if we if we hadn't typed this line of code and we run the program you won't be able to see the GUI it will be there it will run but you won't be able to see it so now that we set it visible alright we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna go ahead and type frame dot set title and what this does is basically it will set the title of the window as here it says Java First, all first tutorial. If we're gonna basically set it to uh, fourth GUI tutorial. All right. So if we go ahead and run this, we should be able to see the frame. And when we hit the X, it's, well, we're supposed to see the frame with this title, uh, fourth GUI tutorial, and then once we hit the X button the frame should close so let's go ahead and build this and see what's going on here you go the fr uh, well also what we can do in our next tutorial probably we can oh man I have to resize a little. here we go so what we can do in our next tutorial is basically we can also set the location where we want this to appear uh, so uh, this is our our frame you see our title here which we set for the Google tutorial and now if we hit the X the program will actually terminate all right so let's go ahead and actually do and let's set the location also so let's type frame that set location so all this will basically do is say um, tell it where where to actually when the program starts where to actually in which which position in the window um, in our screen is was gonna appear so as you know we have the X coordinates and the Y coordinates and this is in, in pixels so let's go ahead I'm gonna do it 350 in the X direction actually maybe I should do it more 450 in the X direction and 250 in the Y direction nice. so you know it also depends on your screen alright so here we go if we I'm gonna set location here sorry about that here we go set location let's go ahead and run it so we should see it appear around this area here there we go so th there's our GUI and a new location alright guys so you, I hope you like this tutorial and there's gonna be
Our next one is going to be a little bit more complex, of course. And uh, uh, as we progress with the tutorials, it's going to get more complex and uh, more interactive with the user. So please stick around, guys, and please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. If you have concerns or questions, leave a message. And thank you very much for watching again.